Hey guys, hope you've all been doing great. I'm here with like a kind of get ready with me because I'm about to film my August favorites, but I was like, I'm, I need to get ready anyway and like put some makeup on this face of mine. So why not just set up my new camera and kind of play with it. Um, so yeah, anyway, in this video, I'm going to just be doing my makeup, but I'm also gonna give you guys my first impression thoughts on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. If you wanna know how to get this orange look to put it uh, in very frank terms, then keep watching. I don't really know what I'm gonna do right now. I kind of have a general idea of like the color scheme, I guess, that I'm feeling right now, which is obviously orange. What? It's kind of cute. Anyway, let's start. So the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize my lips. I'm using the Kors Lip Butter. It's really, really, really hydrating. Um, but it is jar packaging, which I'm not a fan of, so I'm just going to take it on a Q-tip. I'm just going to take a little bit and then do... See, it's like very thick. So um, this is definitely like a nighttime moisturizer, if you know what I mean, because there's a lot going on here. So I'm going to start with my eyes just because I'm going to be using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. It's not new technically, but for me it's new because I just got it, so... Um, we're gonna see how it works. So like, I don't know if it has like fallout and whatever. So just to be safe, I'm just gonna do my eyes first. So I'm just using the Urban Decay um, concealer in the color Medium Neutral to do my eyelids to prime for eyeshadow. My eyelids are super duper veiny, and when I want like a really seamless blended eyeshadow look. Sometimes the veins kind of interfere with that look, but if I go in with concealer, you can see there's like nothing. And um, this Urban Decay concealer is like super high coverage, so awesome stuff to prime for eyeshadow. And it just rolled away into the oblivion. Now I'm going to set it. I'm going to use my Max Studio Sculpt Defining Powder in the shade Light Plus, just so that any dark eyeshadows that I go in with don't cling to my base. And by base, I mean concealer. Okay, now I'm going to start doing my eyes. Let me open this so I can show you. But these colors right here, they're called um, Morocco and Fudge. These two colors, this orange color right here, and this like beautiful brown I'm obsessed with. So I really want to use those. Um, maybe I'll use some of the other colors, but we'll see. I'm just going to grab... This color right here, Soft Peach, to act as my transition color. Oh, it would help if I could see what I was doing. Let's take the plastic off. It's so satisfying to do. Ooh, a lot of fallout. That's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go in my crease. This is a really light color, so I don't think this is gonna do much. I probably could have used this to set my eyes, but whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up the color Morocco, this amazing, warm... Hey, you can see the side of my face, that's cute. Let's not see that. I'm gonna pick up this color right here, and I'm going to put it in my crease pretty loosely because I want this to be kind of very smoky and blown out. Um, so yes. Oh gosh, so pretty. Wow. And it blends out really nicely. I don't know if you can tell. Can I like zoom you in maybe? This camera is new, so I don't really know how it works. Um, like, can you see how like pretty that is? It's pretty, it's pretty. So I'm gonna take Morocco again and just put it on the other eye in the same place in my crease. Okay, so far so good. I'm impressed. So I'm gonna put this palette down for now and I'm gonna grab what I call my life palette because just, just look. Oh, it's upside down. Look, so many pretty colors. So, um, oh, I'm gonna grab this color right here. This is a Makeup Forever Artist Shadow. I don't wanna pick it up because I always dig um, product out with my nails when I pick stuff up. So I'm not gonna grab it, but I think it's called Cinnamon. I'm not sure though, but um, in the bottom bar I will put all that good stuff. I'll make a post on my website and then I'll put a link to that in the bar so you can see. Um, but I'm going to take that color Cinnamon 
and put it in my crease because I feel like it's a sh shade darker and less orange than the color Morocco so it's gonna kind of transition because I'm, later I'm gonna use the color fudge which is like a deep rich brown this is like kind of in between yep good call I put it on the other eye I love Makeup Forever Artist Shadows. They just, they're incredible. I never have fallout with them. I find that they blend just so incredibly easily. I'm gonna go ahead and darken up like um, the inner part of my eye here because I feel like I did not bring enough color there. There we go, I'm just gonna get it in there. Nice and good. Cool. So now I'm gonna go back into the Anastasia palette with a smaller brush. This brush is like this size. Can you see? It's like this size. So now I'm gonna go in with um, kind of like a denser brush. So I'm gonna use the Real Techniques brush, this purple one right here, because it's a lot smaller and it's narrow. Okay, I'm gonna grab fudge, tap off the excess, and then we're gonna, I'm, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna press this into my crease very tightly. I'm not gonna like blend it super upward like I did the other colors. I'm just gonna keep it nice and tight within my crease. Ooh, I love that. So I'm just running this in my crease. You can see right now it's not very blended. It's kind of harsh looking. So now I'm gonna go back in with the same Morphe brush that I was using without any extra product on it whatsoever. I'm just gonna go on top of it in windshield wiper motions. And if I feel like it's not blending enough, I'll just go in like very light circular motions. Make it blend a little more. I'm not really paying too much attention about making this like a defined cut crease or anything because I'm gonna go in with another shadow to cover my entire lid. Do it again on this other eye. These eyeshadows are awesome. I feel like I did not need to put in like that much effort to get this. With some eyeshadows, I feel like I have to blend my life away until I get like the look that I want, but I don't know, these are pretty nice. I'm gonna add a little more Morocco to this eye, just for fun. Probably gonna add it to the other eye to keep it nice and blended. Also because I just love the warmth that this color Morocco has. It's just really pretty this Morocco color. Let me show it to you again because it's just beautiful. This one right here, Morocco. It's, I think my camera's picking it up a little pink, strangely enough, but it's like a, it's like a warm burnt orange brown. It's really pretty. And I'm all about that one. So just building up that color. Gonna put this aside for now. I'm gonna go back into my life palette and I'm gonna grab a Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow. Um, this is an eyeshadow that I have not really used much because it scares me a little because it's just super duper intense. Where's my brush? Found it. Okay. So this is just a flat synthetic brush. I got it from Sephora. Nothing too fancy. I'm gonna be using this foiled eyeshadow here. It's called Flame Thrower. It's um, it's a burnt orange. What can I tell you? <laughs> Not much to it. It's just a very intense burnt orange, and I love it. But I'm scared to use it because it's orange. It's like super orange. So here I go. I'm just gonna pack it all over my lid, and we're just gonna see how it looks, and then how whatever. I'm just I'm gonna go in. so far loving it huh okay I'll see if I can give you a different angle Whew, that is intense but I love it <laughs> okay so um, phase one of foiled eyeshadow complete um, I feel like I need it to blend it out a little bit so I'm gonna grab Morocco 
Morocco on the fluffy Morphe brush. Just gonna grab some. And I'm gonna kind of diffuse out. I'm not gonna move around the foiled eyeshadow. I'm just gonna kind of blur the edge. So I'm just gonna kind of, you'll see. You'll see. I'm just gonna go along the edge and diffuse out any kind of harsh line that I have going on. Okay, cool. Okay, I have some fallout. I feel like these shadows, they do have kind of a lot of fallout. Um, they kind of have a similar consistency to Morphe eyeshadows, which I don't mind because I do love me some Morphe shadows. But because these are kind of more expensive, I don't know if it's a good thing because I feel like I'm wasting product, but pigmentation is awesome, at least on these two matte eyeshadow colors. I did play around a little bit with Pink Champagne and Intense Gaze earlier, um, just kind of swatching it. I wasn't too impressed with them, but I feel like if I used a glitter glue, it'd be a lot better. Top lids, done. But now that I'm done with my eyes, is I'm gonna grab just any large brush and I'm just gonna dust away any fallout that I had. I'm going to be using the YSL Touche Cloth Foundation. I have mine in the shade B50. I'm gonna grab this Real Techniques, what are you, buffing brush. And I'm going to apply dots here. I'm just gonna go in and work this into my skin. This is a dewy foundation. Hopefully it doesn't cling to my dry patches because it's been really bad lately. I'm gonna grab some more and start working up my face. Okay, foundation done. Now I'm going to conceal. I'm gonna go back in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm just gonna blend this out with a damp beauty blender, the same one that I used for my eyelids. And the nice thing about using a concealer like after you finish your eyes is that you can sharpen up this area right here where you feel like you maybe got too messy. So now because I will crease very badly, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye area. So I'm just gonna go under here. And because my skin is so freaking dry, um, this is something I've been doing kind of recently. I will take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light, and I will kind of go over the areas that I've set with that matte powder because my under eye area can look kind of creepy and dry and it's really gross, so. This kind of blurs it. I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera though, but in person, I can tell that there's a difference. I'm gonna finish my eyes. So I'm going to go back into the Anastasia palette. I am going to use this tiny little baby Real Techniques brush. It is called an accent brush. It is like, it's itty bitty. I'm gonna grab the color Fudge, the dark one right here. I'm going to just press it um, on my lower lash line. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. I'm going to use an Urban Decay pencil. I'm going to take the color Morocco, that incredible orange color that I'm obsessed with, and I'm just going to drag it from inner corner to outer corner so that it kind of diffuses the dark brown. Don't stab yourself in the eye, I don't recommend that. Okay, so you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. Staring at myself like, does this look okay? I don't know. So this is an Urban Decay brush from one of the Naked palettes. Um, I really like these though. I think they're very well made. I'm gonna grab this powder right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, banana powder. I've just been using it as like a highlight and it's been working. So I'm just gonna put this in my inner corner. I'm also gonna highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This stuff is awesome. Just give something for the false lashes to sit on. I'm gonna use the Bahama Mama Powder by The Bomb Cosmetics, which is a great cool-toned contour powder. It doesn't have any shimmer in it, it's very matte. Take my Make a Beak Angled Contour Brush. I'm 
I don't really have a technique to come from. I'm just kind of slap it on. Um, and I will also take this powder and apply it into my temples. And I will also carve out my jawline. Okay. That's that. That contoured my face. Sorry, not this. This. This contoured my face, so now I'm going to bronze my face. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 30M. This is so hard to open. Oh, okay. This is what it looks like. I talked about this in my June favorites. Um, still obsessed. Obsessed. Um, I'm going to grab this on a Morphe 405. Just one of these. And I'm going to treat this like a blush almost. And it just, it kind of warms up my skin a little. Like I said, cool toned powder was cool toned, obviously. Um, but if you dust this on top, it has a little more warmth and I like it. Now I'm going to highlight my face. And I'm going to be highlighting a little differently. Um, because now that it's September, I feel like I want to tone down my highlight a little bit. Not really. I know I say that, but I don't actually mean it. So I'm going to be using the um, Mary Luminizer by The Bomb Cosmetics. I'm taking this on a Real Techniques setting brush, and I'm just going to tap it on the high points of my face. But I'm like not bringing it down. I'm just keeping it very intensely right here. And then I will also highlight my cubic bow. Just to bring some attention to my upper lip to make it look more full. And that's it, believe it or not. I'm not gonna highlight above my brow bone or my nose or my chin or anything. I'm just gonna leave it there because I'm just in that kind of mood. So off camera, I'm gonna really quickly apply some false lashes on you. Woo, I'm back. Okay, so these are the Hydrangea Beauty Lashes in style. Fawn, um, can you see? They're amazing. They're really pretty, I really like them. Um, these kind of have like a flare tip to the end, so they're like very, very long. Well, not very long, but they're like kind of long, like here, and then they get shorter and shorter. So it creates like a cat eye, which I really wanted because in this look, I don't have any winged eyeliner going on, so these kind of, they kind of fake it. Uh, if you want to get a pair for yourself, I have a discount code KAYA10 with them, and it'll get you a whole 10% off your entire order, so go check that out. I'm just going to quickly coat my brows in some clear eyebrow gel. Just use my e.l.f. clear eyebrow gel to just make sure they don't move or anything. I feel like they look dark enough already, so I'm not going to go ahead and fill them in. So now I'm just going to finish off my face by doing my lips. I'm going to be using a NARS lip liner. I'm just going to line my lips and then fill them in completely. Nice! So cool! Completed makeup. No, it's not. I need it to set my face. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I am going to go change now into some different clothes that more accurately reflect the vibes of my makeup. So I will be right back. So that concludes this like um, talk through first impressions. Get ready with me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have more like preferences about like if you like this better if you like it when I do voiceover um totally let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching guys I hope you guys have awesome weeks and I will see you in my next video very very soon bye